Okay, hey everybody, haven't done a video in ages. Um, that means for my main channel and for this, obviously. Um, I know that I tried to do one last week, but I just didn't get the time to finish. I don't actually know if this is going to turn out okay, because I've never tried the microphone on this thing. This isn't my camera, this is Mum's camera. Um, it's just that this seems to be better for doing video. Um, digressing already, that's not good. Um, I, following a conversation with Daniel yesterday about a comic I showed him, um, I went through on eBay and looked up items that were selling for a penny with zero postage and packaging. And things I've won as of today, I've won a an old French franc, a 1960s French franc for 6p. I won a DS stylus in black for a penny. I won an Australian shilling, 1962, for 10p. Oof. And I won a pink stylus for a penny. Why did I do it? I don't know. I was bored. But they have to pay the postage for that now, so who got screwed? Um, what else do we have to talk about? Um, Heroes, you guys, Owen and Dan, seem to really like the episode. I liked the episode. I thought the episode was good. But I personally thought the ending was really, really bad. Um, I, can't, I don't know if Carl has actually watched it yet, so I don't want to spoil things. But I think the way they dealt with it was really shit. Um, that's really all I can say. I've spoken to you both about it, so I'm not going to elaborate. But that's just me thinking it was really, really crappy. Um, Daniel, you said there's not much to talk about. And then you went on for 7 minutes and 32 seconds. Um, and that picture, oh, th those pictures were disgusting. Don't ever do that again. Ever. Um, they had a bit of uh, GPs. Um, I haven't really had much to say about doctors in general because I don't generally visit the doctor although it did just so happen that the time you asked that question I had recently been to the doctor um, didn't give me a blood test get, check my blood pressure um, they didn't try and hand me pills like Carla seems to think they do um, they yeah Carla you are oh, I'm not even getting started on Carly yet. I, you, in fact, you get a whole segment near the end of the video because you're so annoying. Um, Daniel Laugh is very infectious. Um, it, it's a, it's an acquired taste. You've got a very booming, scary, monstrous laugh for a scary, booming, monstrous person. Um, yeah. Uh, jokes and facts. What were you thinking, Owen? And then Carla went and took you seriously. Well, that's just Carla all over. Um, opening sequence, I might flick something in at the end, but at this point in time I don't actually intend to, I just want to get this video uploaded. Um, da -da -da -da. Encyclopedia, Adam, first man to ever get laid. Um, Carla did actually do that, Owen. You told me when I spoke to you that Carla didn't do that part for your video. Um, she did. You obviously weren't paying attention as much as I was. Um, also, I kind of consider this less of a Google meme and more of an Urban Dictionary meme, but that's pedantics. Um, and Carly, you said, I, I'm, this is before I start quoting your video directly, you said that doctors can't just say, this disease, this pill, go. Yes, they can. That's what the pills are designed for. I don't quite get what you... Oh, you're just annoying. You really are. You have an amazing ability to take a nice simple subject and make everybody angry when you speak about it. Um, yeah. I don't really have anything in particular I want to talk about. Um, I'll see after I've done my next little bit of my video if there's anything else, but otherwise it's probably goodbye. Hello everybody and welcome to Carla Says. Some of them may try to just your whatever is that's wrong with you with pills because you know that's not what the pills are for or anything but you can't just be like oh you've got this disease so you need that pill i don't think it's that simple then i wouldn't know too much about medicine or doctors would i obviously you don't know that much about medicine no because in a lot of cases yes it is that simple if you just give them taking paracetamol all the time or aspirin then <coughs> your body's gonna become immune to it at one point and they're not gonna work. You've clearly misunderstood how the whole becoming immune to paracetamol thing works because it's more like you getting up every morning and taking two ibuprofen and that being your morning. 
and then over like several years you'll slowly become immune. Taking it every time you're ill, that's not going to make you become immune to it at all. You've completely misunderstood how that works. And from the sound of your cough, you could probably do with a couple of paracetamol. But then on the other hand, I do think that a hell of a lot of people go to their GPs for very, like, silly illnesses like a cold or a headache or a stomachache. Once again, we're clearly on different pages here because that's what a GP is for. It's so you don't bother the hospital. Oh my god, I, I've had enough. Um, what, I've done what, three, maybe four clips? And I'm actually already at my wit's end. I'm trying so hard not to swear at you, girl. Um, I think that's going to have to be the end of my video because otherwise I'm just going to rant and rant and rant and rant and rant. By the way, I downloaded a um, uh, video effects program, so expect too many effects in my next few videos. Um, bye!